Hey guys, this is uh, Johnny Glock from Johnny Custom Glocks, and I am sitting here with uh, IDPA shooter Chad Haroldson. Haroldson, correct? Haroldson, yes. From uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. North Carolina. He drove all the way down to uh, Sarasota, Florida here. Um, I, I sent him a trigger initially, uh, and he popped in his gun, and then once we, he saw the, uh, you know, the video with the new mods that I'm doing, he figured he'd make a little road trip down here. And, um, it was well worth it. Yeah, put it in his gun. <laughs> we got it under two pounds. Killer reset, killer break, and uh, just have Chad talk a little bit about it if he could. Yeah, I shoot in the SSP division for IDPA, and as most of you comp shooters know, you have to pull the trigger fast. So the concept of just slowly squeezing the trigger like bullet eyes shooters do, you don't have that luxury when you're doing action pistol shooting. So you have to pull the trigger fast, and the most um, common thing to happen. To shooters when they do that, if you've got any resistance in that wall or a rough break, is you're going to pull the shot low and left because you're having to pull the trigger so fast. Um, you're fighting the fighting the clock. So my motivation for coming down here to, to visit Johnny was to see what we could do, you know, using my pistol and um, working the trigger to where we get the most, you know, the best feel out of that without disturbing the sight picture. And um, he has definitely accomplished that today. It's it's like it's like falling off glass when you pull this trigger. It took Better about three happen. hours, you know what I mean? We threw a bunch of different combinations in there, uh, messed with reset. You know, we have these conversations. Like he, like, he, Luckily for him, reset wasn't a huge uh, priority, so we were able to get a much cleaner break and kind of let the reset ride in the background. It's not, not that it's not a great reset, but you know, some guys are reset junkies. Some guys shoot off the break, you know, and with his style and with what he was asking for, and you know that's really what made the difference, especially in a Gen 3 that has all these different tolerance issues um, with this newest modification that I did. And for him to come down to me have that gun in my hand makes all the difference. And you can see I've handed him that gun back and forth at least 50 times. And you know at the end there I'm like I'm not gonna let you feel it till I finish it. And then when I put that bad boy in his hand, I mean, he saw the smile on my face and he kicked back in his yeah. chair. He's like, oh, <laughs> couldn't wait to get it in my hands. And he was right. It is just obviously you can't feel the trigger like I can <laughs> in the video, but it is just smooth as silk. It's the, it's the best trigger I've ever felt in the Glock, bar none. And there's really no wall to it, you know what I mean? Because we have it so far back that it's on the wall, and basically it just does. It, you're starting in the position where you're already traveling down the connector, mm -hmm. and you're sort of, the creep that you feel on the wall is all gone. You're right on the edge there, and we have great engagement. Uh, so it's not like you're going to drop it, it's going to go off. Everything's resting on the shelves. We double-checked all that stuff with, uh, you know, by opening up the gun, I ran them through the safeties and all that. It's a 100% safe, functional, flawless gun. And it's exactly what he, exactly what he wanted. And yep, that's basically what I shoot for. So, uh, you know, if you have a kit and you love it, and you want to make the trip like this gentleman did, you know, I'm more than glad to host you. Listen, uh, I, I bought just about every trigger on the market before I uh, found... Johnny's YouTube video channel and um, yep, bought the bought the kit, you know, just the stock kit, competition kit that he sent me, and it was a great trigger, and I won my very next match with a regional match um, by a huge margin. So I was very very happy with it, and then I saw his his latest video on the sub two pound trigger, and I just I, I had to see what what could be done, you know, to, to improve on on the system already. So drove got in the car, drove 12 hours, and um, I'm very very glad I did. I've, I've been searching for the, you know, the pinnacle, and I've, like, I've, I've found it. So. And it's awesome. funny because when people go from like, you know, 2.8 pounds or 2.3, you know, 2.5 even to under two, as, as an experienced shooter, it does make a difference. Absolutely. You know, you're like, wow, I thought I had something that was awesome, good clean break, good reset. But then when you get that poundage lowered and you're still breaking all your primers and you still have a slappy good reset, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just amazing. You know, yeah. it's just. Now, if it's your first trigger and you get the Johnny Glock's comp, you're like, wow, great. You know what I mean? Most oh, people yeah. are highly impressed, like, like he Absolutely. was. Absolutely. And then when you get this next level, it's just like, oh, my God. You know, even even to me, like, I think I keep keep excelling because i got to put a smile on my face. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I can't rest on my laurels. I have to, <laughs> have to just keep The same going. fix. It doesn't do it. you got to get better and better, right? Yeah, right. Oh, it's just awesome. <laughs> you got Oh, I don't know. That's cool. All right, we'll let that part go. <laughs> yeah. No, don't worry about that. All right, guys. Hey, uh, I got some kids. I got to get to the skate park. <laughs> and uh, Rob, I mean, I'm sorry, Rob. Chad is gonna uh, head out on his way here. And it was uh, great seeing y'all. Uh, shoot straight. Shoot safe. And um, 
come down and visit me here in Sarasota. Yeah, you guys are going to love it. Thank All you. right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate it.